Hello, Odoers, and welcome back to this video on reconciliation models. As companies grow and have more and more bank transactions to reconcile, the process can get long and complicated. Thankfully, Odo has reconciliation models, which are rules we can create to help us match our bank transactions correctly and simplify the reconciliation process. Let's take a look at it in Odoo. So here we are in Odoo, and the first thing we'll do is open our accounting app, and we'll look at our reconciliation models by going to the configuration menu and reconciliation model. Here we have a list view of all of our reconciliation models, and note that we can click and drag each of these to reorder them. This is important because for each transaction, Odoo will apply the first reconciliation model with rules that match that transaction. This is also why we want to leave the default perfect match model at the top. Let's open it to see how a reconciliation model works. The first option in a reconciliation model is the type. This perfect match model is a rule to match a bank transaction to an existing invoice, bill, or payment. This model is also set to automatically validate the reconciliation, but if we wanted a little more human oversight, we can always leave that unchecked so that it will match the two items but not validate it automatically. In the Bank Transactions Conditions tab, we can set all of our rules that determine which invoice, bill, or payment should be matched to the transaction. We can do that by only selecting items from a specific journal, only paid or received or both amounts, and we can limit it to only exact matches for the amount or we can allow a percentage of difference. And of course, we can match by partners or even labels. So this model will match and automatically validate transactions with exact payment in the last 18 months that have the partner set and have the invoice or payments reference included in the label. Let's look at a few others to see what else they can do. The match if underpaid model is almost the same, but it doesn't automatically validate and it doesn't restrict the payment tolerance. So this will be useful when we're using cash discounts from a payment method, for example. Similarly, this next model, cash discount, will help even when we don't have a partner set or the reference included in the label. We can use this type of reconciliation model to generate a button to uh, create a counterpart entry in just one click. This means our bookkeeper doesn't have to remember which account these discounts go to and which label we want to use. All they have to do is click on the button and Odoo handles the rest. As you can see, we have some other similar models to make our bank fees and our internal transfers easier. What about the rule to suggest count about entry type? What is that? That's a great question. Let's take a look at it. So we'll create a new model and select the type rule to suggest counterpart entry. This is like a combination of the other two types. So we'll automatically suggest how to handle the transaction based on conditions like the label, the partner, the amount, but instead of matching an existing invoice bill or payment, we'll generate a counterpart entry like with the button. It's the best of both worlds. Let's now take a quick look at the journal items for our bank transactions. To do that, I'm going to go to the accounting menu and to journal item. Here I can quickly filter by just the bank journal and group by the journal entry. And now as I expand some of these, we'll see that we have the bank suspense account hit on each of these journal entries as explained in the bank configuration video. Now let's go back to the dashboard and reconcile. So we'll click on reconcile five items. And before we get into reconciling these transactions, let's remove this not matched filter and we can see that we have one transaction that was automatically matched and validated. And by clicking on it, 
we can see which reconciliation model is responsible for that match. Next, we have one that is matched, but with a discounted payment. Since this payment has the right partner, the model suggested the matching entry. And if we go to the manual operations tab, we can see that we even have an option to mark this as fully paid. If we do that, it adds a line to balance the remaining value, but it also gives us the option to change it back to a partial payment. But we'll leave it as fully paid and we can go ahead and validate. Next, we have a payment that is only for half of the invoice value, so we don't want to mark it as fully paid, but we can always select the correct existing entry and then partially match the invoice. The next two are from the same miscellaneous journal entry for our salary payments to different employees. So we can validate both of them. And finally, for this last one, let's say that the bookkeeper is not exactly sure how to handle it and wants to check with the accountant before reconciling it. That's no problem. They can always just use this to check button. And now let's go back to those journal items from our bank transactions. So again, we'll apply the same group by and the same filter. And now as we expand some of these, we'll see that we no longer have the bank suspense account hit. And we also have these matching numbers. This really helps identify which journal items have been matched with each other. Finally, if we go back to the dashboard, we can see that we now have one to check listed on the bank journal. So we can open that and it'll take us to a view of any transactions that we wanted to double check. And after looking at this one again, our bookkeeper might recognize that this is of course a bank fee. So we want to use our bank fee button from the reconciliation model. We can now click validate and that's it. We're fully reconciled. And just like that, we're all done with our reconciliation thanks to our reconciliation models. That's all for this video, but be sure to check out our other videos on bank configuration and bank reconciliation for more information. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.